The Conquest of Bread by Peter Kropotkin is a seminal work in the field of anarchist political theory and economics. Published in 1892, this book presents a compelling vision of a society built on principles of cooperation, mutual aid, and common ownership. Kropotkin, a Russian revolutionary and scientist, offers a passionate critique of capitalism and advocates for a decentralized, self-governed society where the basic needs of all individuals are met. With its bold ideas and revolutionary spirit, the conquest of bread continues to inspire readers to explore alternative paths towards a more equitable and just world. About the author Peter Kropotkin 1842-1921, was a renowned Russian thinker, scientist, and anarchist revolutionary. Born into Russian nobility, Kropotkin pursued a career in science as a geographer and biologist. However, he soon became disillusioned with the oppressive social and economic conditions prevailing in Russia and turned to revolutionary politics. Kropotkin was a key figure in the anarchist movement and actively participated in various revolutionary activities. He sought to reconcile his scientific knowledge with his political beliefs and argued that human societies have a natural tendency towards mutual aid and cooperation. Kropotkin's writings have had a profound impact on anarchist thought and continue to influence social and political discourse to this day. The Conquest of Bread is divided into a series of chapters that systematically explore the possibilities of an anarchist society based on principles of mutual aid, solidarity, and voluntary cooperation. Kropotkin presents a scathing critique of the prevailing economic system and advocates for a society where the means of production are collectively owned and managed for the benefit of all. Here is a detailed summary of the book. Chapter 1, Our Riches. Kropotkin begins by examining the abundance of natural resources and technological advancements that exist in society. He argues that despite this abundance, millions of people suffer from poverty and deprivation due to the unequal distribution of wealth and the flaws of capitalism. Chapter 2, Well-Being for All In this chapter, Kropotkin discusses the importance of meeting the basic needs of all individuals, including food, shelter, clothing, and health care. He explores the possibilities of organizing production and distribution in a way that ensures universal well-being. Chapter 3, Anarchist Communism Kropotkin outlines the principles of anarchist communism, emphasizing the need to abolish private property and establish a system of common ownership. He argues that such a system would eliminate economic exploitation and create a society where individuals can freely pursue their passions and interests. Chapter 4, Expropriation Examining the concept of expropriation, Kropotkin argues that the wealth accumulated by the ruling class through exploitation and coercion should be reclaimed and used for the benefit of all. He explores different methods of expropriation and its potential role in the transition to an anarchist society. Chapter 5, Food Focusing on the issue of food production and distribution, Kropotkin presents alternative models of agricultural practices based on cooperation and sustainable methods. He criticizes the inefficiencies of capitalist agriculture and offers insights into how a decentralized, self-sufficient system can ensure food security for all. Chapter 6, Dwellings In this chapter, Kropotkin discusses the importance of housing and advocates for the creation of comfortable, affordable dwellings for all members of society. He explores different architectural approaches and highlights the benefits of communal living and cooperative housing. Chapter 7, Clothing Kropotkin explores the potential for a decentralized clothing industry that prioritizes durability, functionality, and aesthetics. He emphasizes the need to move away from the wasteful and exploitative practices of the capitalist fashion industry and promote sustainable production and consumption. Chapter 8, Ways and Means of Communication In Chapter 8, Kropotkin delves into the importance of effective communication within an anarchist society. He argues that the means of communication should be accessible to all, promoting the exchange of ideas, knowledge, and information. 
Kropotkin envisions a society where technology is harnessed for the benefit of all, allowing for the free flow of information without the constraints of profit-driven media. Chapter 9, Free Agreement Kropotkin emphasizes the significance of voluntary association and free agreement in the functioning of an anarchist society. He explores the idea of creating federations of self-governing communities, where decisions are made collectively and individuals have the autonomy to shape their own lives. Chapter 10, Conclusion In the final chapter, Kropotkin summarizes his key arguments and reaffirms the potential of anarchist communism to create a society based on freedom, equality, and cooperation. He acknowledges the challenges and obstacles that may arise during the transition to such a society but remains optimistic about the transformative power of human solidarity. The conquest of bread is not only a critique of the existing social and economic order but also a blueprint for a radically different world. Kropotkin's vision challenges conventional notions of authority, property, and power inviting readers to imagine and work towards a society where the well-being of all is prioritized over individual gain. Throughout the book, Kropotkin draws on historical examples, scientific observations, and philosophical arguments to support his claims. His writing is passionate, persuasive, and accessible, making complex ideas comprehensible to a wide range of readers. The Conquest of Bread continues to be a thought-provoking and influential work, inspiring readers to question the status quo and explore alternative models of social organization. Kropotkin's ideas remain relevant in contemporary discussions on inequality, capitalism, and the pursuit of a more just and sustainable world. 7 Lessons Learned from the Conquest of Bread The Potential for Abundance Kropotkin highlights the potential abundance of resources and technological advancements that exist in society. By challenging the scarcity mindset perpetuated by capitalism, he demonstrates that there is enough for everyone to live a dignified life if resources are distributed equitably. Mutual aid as a fundamental principle, Kropotkin emphasizes the innate human tendency towards mutual aid and cooperation. He argues that fostering solidarity and collaboration can lead to a more harmonious and productive society, where individuals work together for the well-being of all. The Failings of Capitalism Through his critique of capitalism, Kropotkin exposes its inherent flaws, including wealth inequality, exploitation, and the pursuit of profit over human needs. He highlights how these aspects of capitalism perpetuate poverty and create social divisions. Common Ownership and Collective Decision-Making, Kropotkin advocates for the abolition of private property and the establishment of common ownership. He suggests that decision-making should be decentralized and based on voluntary association, allowing individuals to actively participate in shaping their own lives and communities. Sustainable Agriculture and Food Security, the book explores alternative models of agriculture that prioritize cooperation, sustainability, and food security. Kropotkin argues for a shift away from industrialized and centralized farming methods, promoting decentralized and environmentally friendly approaches to ensure the availability of nutritious food for all. Housing as a Basic Right Kropotkin addresses the importance of providing adequate and affordable housing for all individuals. He proposes models of communal living and cooperative housing, highlighting the benefits of shared resources and collective responsibility. The Power of Free Agreement Kropotkin emphasizes the significance of voluntary association and free agreement in building an anarchist society. He encourages individuals to engage in direct decision-making processes where consensus and cooperation replace coercion and hierarchical authority. The conquest of bread serves as a powerful reminder that alternatives to the existing social and economic systems are possible. It challenges readers to question the status quo, envision a more equitable society, and actively participate in creating meaningful change. Kropotkin's work has inspired generations of activists, anarchists, and social reformers. His ideas resonate with those who seek a world based on justice, equality, and cooperation. 
By examining the lessons from this book, readers can gain valuable insights into the potential of anarchist communism and its implications for transforming society. The Conquest of Bread remains a significant and relevant text in contemporary discussions on social and economic justice. Its themes of mutual aid, common ownership, and sustainable living continue to resonate with individuals striving for a more equitable and compassionate world. Kropotkin's vision challenges us to reimagine societal structures and work towards a future where the well-being of all is prioritized over individual gain. Discover the revolutionary ideas that will challenge your perspective on society. Buy The Conquest of Bread by Peter Kropotkin today and embark on a journey towards a more just and cooperative world. If you found this summary of The Conquest of Bread insightful and thought-provoking, don't keep it to yourself. Like and share this summary with your friends and family, and let's spread the ideas of mutual aid and social transformation. Subscribe to our channel to receive more book summaries in this category and stay informed about groundbreaking works that can shape a better future. Together, we can ignite meaningful discussions and inspire positive change.